Hey guys, General Tabby here, and today we are in the dark zone. I'm just going to be giving you guys a little look on what's in the dark zone. I was going to do a full video on everything you need to know about the dark zone. Sadly, something went terribly wrong with that. So, this is just a clip, or a few clips of what I get up to in the dark zone, or previously have. And I will tell you some tricks along the way. And tips and, you know, what to look out for. But uh, this, the fun bit is I'm actually on my way now to to kill some people who wronged me in the dark zone. So I was killed on this rooftop. Two of them gathered, uh, two rogue agents gathered on the rooftop and killed me. One went round the other side, one stayed front, and they they took my stuff, so I, I wasn't very pleased. Um, I went off and did a few things, but I figured it had been long enough, so I came back. And I found them both, right here. So, I got my little vantage point, I saw that they were occupied. And by this stage, they had already been, um, their rogue status had disappeared, basically. But, I still wanted vengeance, so I have now gained rogue status by shooting them but as you can see they're both a bit occupied right now with the guy who's getting flame for a wood and they just didn't seem to respond in time so I wiped them both out I didn't even know I'd got the second guy at first uh, I, I, he must have just been wounded by the grenade I threw and then eventually died so I move in and take their things, which in my opinion is completely fair game in the dark zone because, well, that's just how people are in there. The the enemies isn't just the computer, the main enemies in the dark zone are the people, are the agents, as I've learned many times over. So just avoid trusting people in the dark zone you don't have to run around shooting people and attacking people for no reason but just be very very wary I've had it before where I have actually been killed whilst trying to heal some people I found in an extraction zone I have been killed whilst in doing my extraction so the I don't know, people just, they don't really seem to have limits in the dark zone. But that is still a good thing. It still can work out in your favour, as you just saw. I've now gained some gear and some loot just from killing people who deserved it. They, they know who they are. They know what they did. So I do not feel any remorse for what I did then. But as you will see in an upcoming clip, I can be quite a nice agent um there's been a few occasions actually where i've helped people who i didn't have to but i will give you a tip right now based on experience if you're in the extraction zone and you notice there are more than four people in the extraction zone don't run in because you can only extract all people's gear at a time so if there is more than four it means the wounds are either there to guard which is highly unlikely or they're there to kill so they can steal the loot which does happen always look for someone who walks out of the circle where everyone is gathered um, and that's the one who's probably going to attack I mean not all the case because I do that sometimes and I don't really got my way to attack people um, as you just saw then I got a little reward because I survived the rogue stairs. So, if you work that one out quite easily, you'll work out that you can level up quite easily by just being a rogue agent because you get rewarded by surviving. If no one kills you and you survive, you get quite a quite a good boost. And obviously, you can steal things and get credits for killing the agents as well but saying that another thing you can do is be a bounty hunter 
if you go and look for the red skulls on your map what will appear now and again they are rogue agents put them down area. and kill them take their gear and be rewarded for doing so so there are ups and downs to this whole dark zone malarkey and I have to say it's quite a cool concept despite raging quite a lot at being that zone and some of its concepts I have to agree it's a good idea I think it's a brilliant idea for a PvP zone and there is a lot to do uh, as you can see the chest I've just opened is one of many different types of chests you can actually find and open depending on your level will grant you access to different chests the ones I've just opened don't even require a key but if you're lucky enough to come by a dark zone key then you can open it on certain chests in fact there are a few dark zone chests that require a key in this particular area which is the underground but on this particular video I didn't come across any they do seem to the activate certain area. Times, even if you haven't opened it in like recent hours sometimes you won't grant access until I believe you have made at least one extraction so bearing all this in mind you can get quite a lot of loot in different ways in the dark zone but the best way as I found is get to level 30 which is what I'm trying to do here and I have recently done that and then you get to open the chests in the contaminated areas the chests in the contaminated areas will grant you access to loot at your level if not better once you're at level 30 obviously it doesn't matter but it will give you mainly supreme loot once you're at this level uh, I, I, from about 27 onwards I was getting supreme loot all the time and I can carry 9 at a time so it was 9 supreme loot at a time and then I could break up and sell them so my money shop so it is the best place to go up in terms of credits and with 5 seconds left on the timer for the extraction you'll see how nerve-wracking it is when you're in the position yourself because that's that's what it is like at this point I only ran in when they did because I figured if they was too busy putting their loot on the chain that they couldn't get me and then sadly they both were knocked down so I could have A killed them quicker I could have B let them die without me becoming a rogue where I can still pick up some of their credits and that zone keys and potentially loot considering one of them did not actually get to put it on the chain attack but like I said you can rope with that or do I did and heal them because in a circumstance where you're all surrounded it's highly unlikely they will turn on you whilst being shot so use it to your advantage heal the people around you try and get some friends gathered in the dark zone and then wipe out the AI ten times quicker. I believe if you do this method then you're gonna make friends and you're also gonna be able to you know get on with it. If I had have killed them people they would have come back and hunted me and the AI would have had a better chance of defeating me as well. So if you find people don't be a stranger just heal your friends in the dark zone. But at the same time, Fennel tries to cross you, you kill them, and you kill them good, and you take all of their loot. I hope this guy has been entertaining, or helpful in any way, and like always, until the next time guys, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.